Hey guys, it's been quite a while since we had a vlog and today I want to talk about the reason why. As some of you all know from uh, when I've been on the Monday Club or spoken about it on Monday Night Live, Game Hammer Live, live game coding, things like that, the live streams have still been going on on my Game Hammer channel. But uh, we haven't been doing vlogs and I haven't been making any actual pre-recorded shows on the Game Hammer channel. And the reason for that is a lot of work, we've been pushing hard on uh, improving uh, the production quality and things like that of uh, Jenny's channel because it's the main one. At, I, for those of you who don't know, I run four channels and uh, I participate in at least one more, <laughs> sometimes more than that. And as a result, uh, we have to prioritise what's uh, the main channel and things like that. So we've been pushing the, the content, got to Jenny's channel to the point where it's actually really good and uh, now we're going to be working on the others, uh, bringing up the game hammer and bringing up the vlog and things like that. But amidst all that, as I've mentioned on uh, the live shows, my mum got cancer. And I'm not going to go into it too much because it's not my story to tell. She's okay. She's okay. But it kind of knocked me off. The shock thing. It, it is a shock for anyone who has a parent who goes through something like that. It, you feel like you should be doing more. And it's hard, especially when, like me, you live 300 miles away from your parents and the rest of your family. It's difficult. And it did take uh, a few days for me to try and get back into the swing of things. And then, just as my mum uh, got the all clear, my grandfather died. And that floored me. I think, I think people can understand that. He was a, a big part of my life. When I was a kid, uh, my mum and dad worked uh, full time, both of them. So my granddad looked after us, uh, my sister and I, uh, after school. So I saw him every day during the uh, summer holidays and Christmas holidays and things like that. We would go to my granddad's when my parents weren't home because they were all at work. So he was there then as well. Essentially, he was like a third parent and he brought me up. And now he's gone. And it's a big thing. It's a big shock. We all knew that he was he was old. He was uh, in his uh, late eighties, so we knew when his health started going that it, it probably wasn't going to be long. But it doesn't prepare you knowing that for the shock of now he's not here. And that I didn't want to talk about until I was prepared. So I, I, I didn't even bring the vlogs back after after what happened with mum and I just stopped the vlogs because I thought it wasn't right to talk about that and look like I'm having a, a good time and doing all this work. Actually, I, I wasn't. Uh, and then I didn't bring it back after Grandad either because I wanted to be ready to talk about this. He was a big part of my life. He was always there. And now he's not there. And that's tough. So I took time off. I took time out to actually get myself back together. And, and you can probably tell from the fact that I keep pausing what I'm saying. And it's because I, I want to make sure I'm saying it the right way. But also because it, it stops me from bursting into tears while I'm talking to you. It, it's a tough time. So I, I took time off. But... It's not going to be easy, is it? Because it doesn't matter how ready you think you've made yourself for the inevitable. You're never ready. And it's still a shock. And it's going to take a long time to get over. So, as much as I want to say we're back to daily vlogs, the fact of the matter is, if I need to take time for myself, then I will. Because I think that's important and you guys if you're in a similar situation there's got to be someone to talk to go and talk to someone if you feel like you're down uh, I have Jen and I'm, I'm very close to my family even though I live hundreds of miles away they're on the end of the phone we have a, a whatsapp group where we send videos and talk to each other and stuff like that every day to keep in touch and that's that's how I get through days when, when things are bad so I hope that you have something as well. And if you don't, I'm here for you. You can always get in touch. 
I, in fact, I have the uh, WhatsApp button on my Facebook page. Uh, so get in touch and see how it goes. Uh, one of the Facebook page, I can't remember which. It might be my personal one, uh, Zoe Kirk Robinson. It might be Game Hammer. It might be All Mass Media. I can't remember which. But one of those, you'll find it. Get in touch if you need to. Guys, I don't want this to be a downer because... <sighs> how, how can I put this in the right way? He was a big part of my life. He was a great guy. And I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him a lot. And I don't want it to be a downer. I want, I want it to be more like he was loved and missed. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Goodbye, Granda. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>